All right. So the software is saying that we are live. So we should be live. Let me check. Let me check. You are. We are. All right. Hi, guys. This is Ali from Islamabad. Um, this is Carla's Learn to Speak English by Speaking English show. Carla is the host for the show, but today she takes off. This is Thursday. And uh, I will be the host for today. And we have Amreen, who is frozen, and Norala, who is uh, showing mixed emotions, happy, sad, angry, all together. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. uh, oh, so she's back. Amreen is back too. So I do have a kind of an interesting topic, and we'll talk about it later on after the introductions. But let me repeat the rules first. So when you are in the room, we expect you to turn on your camera and we expect you to not touch the mute button so that if there is some noise around you, it may not interfere with the conversation that we are having. And uh, if this is your first time watching the show and if you want to join the show, the way to do it is to click the Zoom link on top of this video. And that link will guide you through the process and you will be here in no time. And uh, with that, I will go to our um, co-hosts, Amreen and Noorullah for, uh, I know Noor what I said. <laughs> I don't know what else to call you. <laughs> co-hosts. So um, for short introductions, and then uh, we will uh, see what to talk about. Okay, uh, starting with Amreen, over to you. Hi, everyone. I am Amreen from Karachi. And I am here to do my English and speaking skills. So that's why I am here. And if you want to improve your English, if you want to say something, join us. Over to you. Thank you, Amreen. And everybody, assalamu alaikum, guys. This is Nurullah from Saudi Arab. Uh, the rule has been changed yesterday, so we don't do not need to repeat it again and again. So I'm just uh, like uh, being a part of team, being a oldest co-host, so I'm here still uh, to assist our host and uh, other friends to help them. And also improving my English. And guys, we have a group on Facebook, Learn to Speak English by Speaking English. Join that group and you will get more chance to improve your English. And um, I had a section with Amreen, but I'm sorry, Amreen, I was busy last two days, uh, really busy and unannounced schedule. Uh, so that's why I cannot give you time, but we will start again with the same schedule, inshallah. What you, Olibai? Thank you, Norway. And I was surprised, actually, really happy also to know that you can speak four languages. Fantastic, my friend. Oh, yeah, first alhamdulillah. Uh, <laughs> first two languages I got, national language. Uh, I had that in Pakistan. And the two, um, the one Arabic and English, I learned from here. English and Arabic I learned uh, when I came here. So I learned Arabic mm -hmm. in nine and a half months, Ali, 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 Ali like very quickly, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, that was also my job. And uh, my father kept me in, in, in the center of Arabic peoples, uh, because when I came here to Saudi Arabia, so after a month, my brother has passed away. So I had a responsibility on my shoulder. So I have to do that job. So in that case, I learned Arabic fast as I can. <clears throat> Okay, thank you, Nurbai. Uh, I have a request, Nurbai. You are the co-host. I am not. Carla is doing something. So can you bring in one attendee in the attendee's room? I cannot do it right now. Uh, yes, I, I asked Carla, but I think she's busy. So <clears throat> I am the co-host now. So I can also bring him in, but thank you, Nurbai. So the idea I had, so um, something that we could discuss was... Um, in Pakistan, general concept is that when we are feeling bad about our lives, we think that the best solution is to go to any other country. So what is what is your perspective about, about it? Noor can actually shed some more light on it because he's living abroad. I can also share some thoughts and Amreen, uh, Amreen's husband also uh, moves a lot. So she also might have some thoughts on it. So the reason why I'm asking is that people sometimes um, 
uh, ask these questions like i have a visa for some european country or canada or uh, easy to go countries should i go or not and some people are so desperate that they even are willing to go on asylum by making up some stories and uh, i just want to talk about your views about uh, this kind of perspective do you think there is a truth to that or what uh, whatever is your perspective please share and then uh, i will also share my views so starting with noor bhai noor bhai what do you think thank you ali bhai give me first chance to speak uh as if you remember one time i i i shared this story i shouldn't be here but i'm here just because of my father uh, he made a company and he bring me here i shouldn't be here now uh, experience living abroad ali bhai is very difficult like special when you living in arab country i also shared that before european country is little different you have little independence right to do something there uh, rather than arab countries um we are facing many difficulties uh, in arab countries when we came here uh, the people didn't realize that when they live in pakistan and they are willing to come here but when they came here and they uh, had that truthful experience by them own so then they start realization i made mistake uh, in the same way i was so happy when i was came uh, here uh, like i accept my father decisions but when i came here and i uh, faced the things and i faced the difficulties so i was not happy as that much when i uh, live in pakistan um the thing is uh, why we are uh, not doing something in pakistan there is also a problem but if i spend like uh, uh some money on visa so why i don't start business there you know even they are a small business but i can survive there uh, better than that uh, one and a half year almost two year i didn't uh, like eat my food in my home like when my mom cooking and my uh, wife cooking i didn't eat that you know i missing many things like many uh, cultural things like wedding you know eat celebrations uh, also we facing difficulties in ramadan so it's not so easy but uh, i'm also beyond it why i'm here and i'm also beyond it why i didn't start business in pakistan i'm also beyond it why i'm not there uh, i have to plan to move pakistan permanently but might be after this ramadan so i'll be there in pakistan and no more moves no more moves uh you know i can i can there i have little property so i can there uh farmings you know i can start that better than live here abroad you know uh i i'm watching a drama is named dal dal so i had that experience from that drama uh when a person he go uh, illegal to uk and when he facing the, the story uh you know so he was he was came back literally he was dying but he he survived somehow as he came back and he said to uh, his father you know i will eat anything you know to to survive but i'll i'll be not move abroad again uh but also this affect ali bhai and we have to accept that we didn't have facility in pakistan as much as we have abroad you know after all that difficulties after all that facing problem are uh, we getting something you know to uh, feed our family and to feed ourselves as well and also to help pakistan to send money there but if it's better rather than uh, we <clears throat> go abroad and spend money there start business there is better we uh, start business in pakistan and pay uh, tax there and you know to build up our country not other country because we are setting uh, goals of other countries people not our own self so i i work here more than seven and a half year and i have nothing in the hand you know just send money to pakistan and family is eating that's it not not growing up and also so it's the better option if you have uh, something to invest to invest in pakistan so now we have better opportunity in gwadar now we have better opportunity in cpec you can start business with china and central asia so you don't need to go anywhere you can sit in pakistan and you can set your own business thank you thank you very much nurbai i was expecting this kind of insight from you and thank you very much for for that amreen what do you think i think right now the global changes are very badly affected people 
some are muslims and we are doing uh, we are going abroad and we are try to find our own uh, things there are so many opportunities but there are so many difficulties we are uh, lost our own uh, selves there we are here to whatever do it is pakistan we are here first citizens of pakistan but if we are going abroad where wherever we are going then we are uh, second and third type of uh, citizens so we have uh, you know some uh, opportunities we are uh, facing so many we are uh, find so many opportunities there but still i believe this thing the global change affect a lot so people should restrict on their own country they live their own country all right thank you mean thank you but uh, did you ever think about moving abroad any country yes yes when three and four and times when and why two years before i tried to find uh, universities and when i start mphil in pakistan then i tried to find some opportunity in canada i find more universities but the weather is very extreme and i did not you know survive on their weathers because i am living in uh, hot weather so it is not easy for me to survive in a very cold weather no but i mean going for studies is temporary right so that's fine you can even go yes. to india if you want to <laughs> but yes yes i i was talking about permanently moving to a different country for the sake of long term uh, living yes, and we, raising your family there some uh, yes, or something yes like my that. whole family was my uh, in uk but i did not two and three time they are forcing us you can here in london but i refuse this thing because i am very happy in my country i want to go abroad but only for studying whenever i try to find maybe i have tried to find this thing on my son with my son because right now i have you know a big responsibility to uh, bring him up so but whenever i found something i will found something in my future i went out but i just come back i want to just come back to come in my home thank you amreen thank you very heartwarming message thank you very much so i'm going to unmute our first panelist for today mr nadeem assalam alaikum nadeem bhai wa alaikum assalam how are you i'm good how are you i'm fine alhamdulillah but you sound like you are sleepy or tired or sad what is going on uh, actually i'm tired uh, because of hard working what did you do official work nothing special as usual okay what is usual for you sorry so what is the usual day for you that makes you tired uh, because uh, man uh, many work uh, come and uh, because uh, usually uh, in uh, nowadays uh, the work is hard mm. and tough for me because is closing a working days mid month mm. okay and what do you think about the topic have you ever thought about uh, so where are you right now i forgot are you in pakistan i am pakistan but i am not at home i am uh, i am living at another city okay. because of my job and uh, about topic i am i agree to nurul bhai and am brain madam because uh, as uh, in abroad as a minority and uh, especially as a muslim uh, according to my friends and uh, other peoples there are uh, t- uh, they have tough tough t- uh, tough experience uh, to as a muslim because uh, they i mean as a minority we have uh, many t- many difficulties in abroad uh, if you go for money 
are earning in abroad uh, i suggest uh, never go for money in abroad uh, if you uh, go for a journey or a visit uh, to abroad to enjoyment then go but uh, uh, which uh, Uh, which time you spend two or three five or five years uh, for earning in abroad? Uh, start your business in Pakistan. Uh, spend, uh, give your two, three or four years uh, to your business, and you earn as you definitely earn, which you earn in uh, abroad. I think. Very good points and. but if i say that uh, tomorrow donald trump is going to announce free green card scheme what will you do will you apply for that or not no i never apply for that or any other country you don't want to move to any country uh, yes uh, i go i go to that country and the uh, any green uh, and uh, peaceful country for long term you want to live there no never for 3 okay. hours 4 uh, months or 6 month mm mm-hmm. okay i never go america or uh, russia or other uh, which Okay, Noor Bhai has a question. Ah, uh, yes, I have a question, and the question is uh, like there are so many beautiful places in Pakistan, right? Ah, uh, there are yes. many places you 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 didn't visit right now. You know, I know that. I, I, I'm sure. Uh, I I didn't visit Gilgit till now. I didn't visit ah uh, many places, many beautiful and historical places in Pakistan. So why are we deciding to go visit outside? Why we are not spending that money inside in the Pakistan? Uh, you are right, but I uh, I visit Gilgit, I visit Abbottabad, Mansera, and uh, other areas, northern areas, also Fata. So I wanna go abroad for more. <laughs> It's okay. I visit Delhi, <laughs> <Mary>, Kashmir, <laughs> also Muzaffarpur. So brother. Uh, don't don't think I'm stopping you. I'm asking general question. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts, and uh, I'm really happy. But you know, um, you should, as you said, you want to go somewhere temporarily. That you should definitely do that. If you have a, an opportunity to go to a Western country for, let's say. minimum for minimum of 6 months or let's say 2 years or so for studies or something go there you know it gives you a different kind of exposure but um, as you said if you want to if you want to go there for long term in my in my perspective you have to carefully evaluate what you are going to get if you invest in pakistan and what you are going to get when you go abroad and then see what you are losing what you are gaining sometimes um, as i think i think carla is still here if i'm going to say something in urdu she'll kill me but i have to say this there is no easy translation dur ke dol suhane hote hain so uh, you know when when you see something from uh, far far away things look bright and green but you know the ground realities are sometimes different so thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and anything else you want to add no i'm i want just listening yes sir thank you for appreciate thank you sir live live abroad time. live abroad without family is same like you losting self confidence i lost self confidence many time you know many time they i can share the truthful story you know because after a while i should be in the jail so let's forget about it <laughs> okay so i'm going to unmute uh, fakhar sahab now and no ya yeah. 
Most welcome to the show, sir. How did you find the show, by the way? <clears throat> actually, this Facebook on Facebook actually. Mm -hmm. So one day this uh, before one week I was using the Facebooks after finish my jobs. So I means I found your group discussion group. So I like so much. So that's that time my uh, this great and a close friend he was uh, online with you. Okay. So after mm -hmm. finish discussion with you also, I ask what is the procedure to join your group. So, but uh, so many time I try, I try, try, but today I'm, Alhamdulillah, I successful to join your group. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, so uh, tell me uh, about your homeland, Pakistan, where are you from, uh, belong from Pakistan, and then we'll be moved to the questions. Actually, this, uh, basically I'm from uh, this Punjab, this mm -hmm. Mayawali city. It is a very ah. famous city, this is a Khan city. <laughs> Shaheen Bhai, Shaheen Bhai is laughing uh, about the Khan cities because he is following uh, Imran Khan. Anyways, yeah, yeah. this will be that. Definitely, definitely. So, so the, the question Ali Bhai uh, abroad today, uh, he's, he, he's bringing that question uh, regarding living abroad. So what yeah. is your experience? Should we live in Pakistan permanently or are you like to live permanently here in Saudi Arabia? So what is your uh, opinion? Actually, Actually, this uh, Nurullah, according to my opinions, actually nobody likes to stay in the abroad countries, okay, without the, without the families. Every, everybody, almost everybody, they have pre preferred to his family, right? So mm -hmm. some people, they have compulsions, okay, about this is uh, means source of money they don't have in the Pakistan, including also me, including also so many people. They don't have any source to collect the money in the Pakistan. So, because they don't have any option, then they prefer to uh, move to the abroad countries, right? So, so uh, this uh, last three years I am working here. So I don't like to stay more here because first of all, I prefer my families and I prefer my home countries. Stay there and work there. Great. <clears throat> so, uh... That is good start. So will you move back to Pakistan and you have any plan to start business there? Yeah, right. Definitely. So everybody have some plans, but nobody likes to stay forever, lifetimes. So everybody have a plan, maybe five years, three years, two years. So I have, uh, so also I have plan, maybe I think so a three years already got finished, just two years uh, remaining to stay here. Inshallah, after successful my achievement, my plans, I will, for, I will move to the home countries. That's very good. That's very yeah. good. So uh, you have to say, uh, you want to say, uh, add anything else uh, regarding the topic? Or you have uh, anything else so you can share with us? Actually, this, uh, just I want to add only this one, but uh, which people, they don't know how to, this, they don't know about the abroad, abroad countries, okay? Because actually they, uh, means they didn't, uh, they didn't uh, this uh, what you call this is a journey, traveling. Means first time they are going to travel in the abroad countries. They don't have any experience how how to spend how the, another people how they spend the time there, how much uh, they face difficulties. Okay, so so I this is my method from to all. If they have any source in the home countries for the earning, so first of all they have to prefer earning in the home countries. This is my message. Yeah. Thank you uh, for sharing your thoughts and your experience. And yeah. uh, we have like uh, less time and we have to move to the next participant. Uh, thank you for joining the show and thank you for sharing your thoughts. We really appreciated that, brother. Um, so I request, sorry, I request for Mr. Ali. So I want to talk with him, please. He's oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Actually, yes. this uh, so many time I observed he was hosting the program like that. <laughs> yes, sir. Assalamu yes, alaikum. Yes, Mr. Ali. How are you? I'm good. good. I'm good. Yeah. So, Very I think you're asking me. Because, yeah, because today this is my first day. So, mm -hmm. I, I would like to please uh, sharing me some ideas, sharing me some uh, new things with me. Uh, yeah, so, but, you know, usually we have a topic and you shared very, very good points already. So, can you share a little bit more about yourself? What do you do in Saudi Arabia? 
and what did you do in miawali when you were in miawali can you share a little bit more actually this uh, mr ali this i am the safety engineer here in the cement plant saudi arabia okay uh-huh. so mm-hmm. actually this uh, in my home country we have this uh, home where this is the, actually this is a land okay this is our some business for the lands okay so actually this uh, i can uh, speak because in this is a urdu please is kheti wali this uh, we have this uh, okay so this is now this weed season start now alhamdulillah so this uh, we uh, this our land actually uh, we give to the another person for the contracts okay so mm-hmm. so actually this i am working in the hc engineering in the kfc okay. yeah yeah so, interesting uh mean you live in uh, exact athin right in riyadh no no riyadh actually this is a place of bisha it is very close to ah, abu khamis got it <laughs> yeah it is very close abu khamis yeah you know this bisha weather is a very very fantastic weather yesterday also rain came and today also this cloud is here I know, brother. I have been there for some. Yeah. Who is that? Self. Oh, uh, Isa. So actually, Ryan, Isa, wait so, for your turn. So, uh, so Ryan, sir, please wait for your turn. So there are three guys before you. First, Shine by, then Zishan, then Walid, and then it's your turn. Please wait for it. Uh, okay? uh, Mr. Thank Ali, you. may I ask you what is your actually exact time for online? Uh, we come online at nine o'clock. So tomorrow. uh so so friday will be uh, oh. we'll be here but but saturday we do not come uh, uh, saturday, saturday will be off huh? yeah so seven, on seven. monday no 9 o'clock 9 o'clock pakistan time yeah 9 o'clock Nine up to what time oh, for one hour yes only one hour i think yeah. it is my suggestion as a <laughs> suggestion as a sir because i think one hour this is not uh, enough for the people <laughs> <laughs> because everybody they are waiting please increase your time maybe uh, one okay. and a half hour like that okay because yeah. you know how many people mm-hmm. in the list they are waiting uh, <laughs> thank you so for me i do not have the authority to do that but carla i will tell i will share your thoughts with carla and if she agrees then we'll extend it okay you know okay. You, you know mr ali you know mr ali really i don't want i don't want disconnect chatting with you <laughs> because i am getting too much enjoy because of you are giving me lot of in knowledge like new things okay uh, fakhar really appreciate your uh, thoughts and your suggestions but we have okay. another option we have group on facebook uh, you can join yeah. that group you can find one of the co-hosts of the show so they can give you time there as much as you want you know half hour one hour they can give you time you know actually yeah. i have i have a lot of many question with yours but you don't have time so what can i do So we can, well, you can, uh, you can come back on tomorrow. Monday. Come back on, on Monday, Monday and then we'll talk. Monday, okay. Monday it is yes. very far, yeah, Mr. Ali. Monday is very <laughs> very far. Tomorrow is okay. You know, actually, this last one week I was waiting. No, no, Daniel. no, Pagal, why you have to come on Monday? So as yeah. you were saying, we have limited time, and there are many people to cover. So we have to move on to Shine Bai if it if you allow. Can we move on to Shine Bai, please, Pagal Bai? Okay, Mr. Ali, thank you very much to give me the thank time. Inshallah, I really appreciate you. your group. I want to see successful your group. Inshallah. So thank next time I will join you Monday and tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow I don't know, but Monday, Monday for sure. Thank you, Bhagwan. Okay. Thank, thank you, Mr. Ali. Thank you, Mr. Ali. Waalaikum salam. Very nice guy. I like him. Okay, I'm going to unmute Shahin. Bye. He came back after so long. Amreen, will you please host him? I think Shine Shine Bai must have really great points about the topic. I'm unmuting him. Assalamu alaikum Shine Bai. Over to you, Amri. Wa alaikum assalam. Assalamu alaikum Shine Bai. How are you? Assalam. How are you? And how are you doing? And good, good, good. And you listen the topic? Uh, I listen. I mean, every day, Ali Bai. I listen you guys every day. but are you I, i don't come here so yeah i want you know uh give uh another people that okay give a chance to you know attend yes we really appreciate your words and please share your views about regarding to live abroad and the we, we pro, what problem we face if we are going to abroad and it is better to live in pakistan or going abroad 
uh, living for so long here, like what, 24 years plus. So I don't feel anything like, okay, I'm from here or from where, right? So, and mix here. So uh, California is kind of mixed. So I don't feel anything like, okay, I'm from, you know, somewhere else. But if I go to Pakistan, I'll say, oh, yes, yes, we have our own culture and this and that and so on. But yeah, so I don't feel like, okay, I'm somewhere outside. Yes. You feel like home? Like home, yes. And uh, with family, if you if you have family with you and then yeah, you, you don't feel. You raise very good point. You have family, so that's why you feel like home. But if you are, you don't have your family, so why, what <laughs> is your feeling that time? Sh okay, Shire. good question. Good question. So I never been alone. Like okay, when I was uh, single, uh, my uh, brother and sister and father and mother they were here, right? And uncles, everybody. So I don't feel like okay. And Shahin now, <laughs> Shahinbi, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. But live alone like me and cook a meal for you all self. And when your father have diabetes and you also have to take care of him, <laughs> I will ask the question: Are you feeding or not? <laughs> Still, Nurla, uh, uh, I cook. Till I, you know, I help uh, you know, home and so on. You are a, you are a man, uh, Shahin Bhai. You are doing very great job. It is not a very hard to cook. <laughs> yes, it's very nice. Ali Bhai, everything is ready, but still, I help. I help, like you know. Uh, Making breakfast and sometimes lunch or dinner, whatever I, I can, sometime, I do. Sometimes, Ali Bhai, uh, shine me, not permanently, not morning. <laughs> Till <Sometime>. night. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it is very good hobby. Sometimes yeah. it is very good hobby. <laughs> sometimes I'm also cooking when I'm home, you know. Sometimes it's not a problem, but the, the problem is permanently. Like when you live here for two years alone, you have to wash your own clothes and you have to cook for your own self and still for your father. So it's like so difficult. No? So we, Nurba, you cannot said, handle it. And uh, sorry to cut you off. You, you said you are living, you are living Saudi Arabia and you are going back to Pakistan, living there? Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Anyhow, and when you, so, sorry to say that, okay, so when you introduce yourself, is you say, oh, uh, my name, okay, my name is Noor, and I'm from Saudi Arabia, not Arab, because in <laughs> English is not Arab, it's Saudi Arabia. <laughs> yeah, because I'm living in a specific country, I'm not living in GCC country, so that's why I have to mention <laughs> Never seen in English, it's Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Brother, this is, an, this is an introduction, so I have to, uh, you know, allow to say the current place where I'm living right now. Okay, basic is my country, basic is my afterbar, but currently I'm living here, so I have to be, you know, share my current location. No, no, you, you are right, but I'm talking about the Saudi Arabia world. You said Saudi Arab. Yeah. Arab Saudi is Arabia. Arabia. Uh, Shaheen Bhai, we are going to... Uh... Another uh, path, and yeah. we, uh, please come back to the topic. And it is no. better <laughs> <laughs> because it is very long uh, debate, and it is never finished. Yes, yes. <laughs> so you are doing very good job, and you are uh, uh, you are helping your wife, and it is very good thing, and people learn from you because. Wives are also a human being, so they need some time breaks. Yes, yes, of course. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> I really appreciate your words. <laughs> being a woman. <laughs> being a man. <laughs> working in <the> <laughs> being a woman. Look, look, Amrita, how, how, how is she happy, Shaheen Bhai, that you are cooking for your own self and you're giving some rest to your wife? <laughs> you I know? don't cook for my own. I cook for everyone. Like, you know, at home, I cook for, you know, hey. everyone. Let's step for you. Shine, okay. I mean, while I have a question. If you yes. want to come back and and you uh, and nay, nee, if you want to go US for asylum on asylum, you'd want to go there. Okay, so here, uh, I don't know uh, what it would be here on TV and radio and so on, and you know those medias. It's totally different. American, they are so nice and so good. 
you won't believe it you won't feel that okay you are in somewhere else yes some part that i'm saying yes it. we feel it because we have a, a lady with us he is hosting us and he is creating this group and he is very nice and we feel this thing she is very good so i i never had problem anywhere that okay oh if you go to mask you say okay so here is the full <laughs> mask like okay so what we do friday we do three three prayers because there are not enough space and the mask is so huge and still there yeah, sometimes we just missed it so you won't believe it i say oh yeah so that's why i think i don't feel like you know we are from somewhere else okay so noor bhai says it is time to wind Move. up with you <laughs> <laughs> sure <laughs> and move forward to other person sure sure yes yeah. yes yes thank you thank you so thank much thank you joining us thank you joining us and okay. join us in future yeah see, yeah see you next time inshallah thank yes, you thank you so, assalam alaikum wa alaikum assalam thank you umreen and thank you shain bhai all right i'm going to unmute zishad aziz sahib i hope he's not frozen he's not moving Zishan Sahib, he is frozen. He is frozen. I'm going to give him a minute. Otherwise, I'll go to Muhammad Isa Sahib. Okay, so Zishan, if Zishan comes back, then I will go to him next. Uh, but I'm going to unmute Isa Sahib right now. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Ali bhai. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? All friend. I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine too. Um first of all I would like uh, to introduce ourselves. Uh my name is Muhammad Isa and I belong to uh KPK Pakistan. Um I'm sorry for that but because my English is uh, too weak and uh, I want to start conversation with uh, your people. So um, uh sorry for that. Uh, especially and first time and i'm very nervous because this this is my first time live chat so uh, thank you for uh, to uh, create this group uh, and uh, uh, give me your time to what time you can start the conversation class and um, i want to um, online the, uh, every day with um, uh, with your people and uh, I like to thank um, especially and Mr. Ali who created this group and this live chat. So thank you. Um, and um, uh, we, we uh, thank you. Our, we, we will discuss. Uh, mm -hmm. And um, yeah. uh, like uh, uh, the work is good in our country or not uh, our other country. So um, this is like I want to start in this topic. So um, my opinion is this I would like to. Uh, do in country uh, like uh, to develop their countries not the other like uh, a different uh, people uh, got education from our countries and they go to abroad and not uh, good benefit to our country so um that's why i want to um uh, like uh, um, create our own uh, like um, organization and uh, uh start a group or start a business or in our countries because to uh, give the benefit our countries so that's my opinion and what's our zishan aziz uh, by opinion and uh, mr ali uh, you can also talk on this issue thank you isa bhai i will unmute zishan bhai later on uh, but a few clarifications so i did not start this group carla carla richman is the founder of this group and she started that with rehan alawala so they are the founders of this group we are just um, mazdoors of this group we are just mazdoors so okay. don't do okay and, and um, give me a time yeah. mm -hmm. yes give me the chat time uh, what is the uh, chat start uh, yeah so we start at 9 o'clock 9 pm yeah, and 9 PM. Uh, pakistan time yes So, so, and you said that your English, you were sorry that your English is not good. So, 
when you clicked on the zoom link what was mentioned on top of that what was the what is the name of the show um live english conversation learn learn to speak english learn, right learn, 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 yeah so we are all learning don't worry yeah. about this my friend oh, don't don't okay. say sorry we are here to learn both okay, you and sir. i are learning from each other don't worry but but my my english is very late for, for with uh, from other <laughs> No, you are doing a great job. Believe me, you are doing Thank a great job. Brother, so you I, said you are from KPK, but what part of KPK? Which exactly? And Swat. Ah, Swat. Okay. Beautiful how, area. How is the weather in Swat right yeah, now? Yeah, it's good. Uh, the the rain is already start. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. And the weather is very cool. Okay, you should send some of this cold weather to Karachi. Amri <laughs> needs that. I I, I go to Karachi uh, before Pandra days, and there is a hot weather. Um, uh, I, I think uh, Pandra days. Uh, uh, before Pandra days, uh, I'll go to Karachi. Uh, I go to Karachi before. And, you can uh, say you can say before fifteen days. Fifteen means is Pandra in English. Before fifteen days. Yeah. So you can Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, and there is a hot weather. So when I come to Swat, so you know, the Swat. Uh, and there, you say thanks, cool. Lord, I am and here. I, <laughs> yeah, and I think to come to home, uh, Swat. Uh, so uh, <laughs> it's a nice weather in Swat. Enjoy so, your weather. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, Isa, what do you do for a living? Are you a student or do you work? Yeah, what do you do? I'm, I'm, no, I'm a student of civil engineering and Sarad University. Um, um, my age nowadays. And um, uh, also, I'm married uh, and uh, I have one baby. His name is Rayan. Mashallah. So, mashallah, mashallah, yeah. mashallah. Fantastic. So, um, yeah. Are you in your fourth year of your engineering, or have yeah, you just started? Fourth, fourth year, yeah. Last okay. semester, civil engineering. Yeah. And what do you plan to do after that? Do you want to work in Sawat, or do you want to go somewhere else? No, Sawat. I um, I would like to do work in Sawat, uh, not the other countries. Uh, and when the job is not found in Sawat, so we will try in Pakistan, not the abroad. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Isa, um, can we move on to the next person? We are really running out of time. We have eight minutes and we have uh, Zishan Saib, then Wali Saib, and Aga Muhammad Saib to cover. Can we move on to the next person? No, uh, thank you for that. Uh, give me time and uh, we will meet uh, tomorrow, inshallah. And uh, okay. it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much, Isa, for coming. Yeah. And uh, thank you for sharing your thoughts. Fantastic. So I'm going to unmute Zishan Saib now. He's moving now. He's not frozen anymore. So that's good. Nurbai, will you host him, please? Yes, sure. Thank you, Alibai. Okay. Alaikum. Zishan Bai. I can hear you, brother. Fix your mic. If you are from mobile and you plug in the laptop, my flu phone, so plug off that one. Okay, say something now. Not so by the time Zishan fixes his mic, I just want to say to Abbas Sahib, blog to go Acer and Sair Khain Sahab and Sayyid Hamza Sahab that we cannot um, invite you today. So sorry for that. And Sayyid Hamza Sahib, usually we have only two rules. One is to turn on your camera and your camera was not working. So please fix that and you can come back tomorrow. I'll make sure that you are in the in the room. Okay. And um, to all four of you, sincere apologies. Please come back tomorrow. We are running out of time, so we cannot cover you today. Over to you, Nurbai. Thank you, Alibai. Uh, 
Zishan, remove your microphone from your laptop or from your mobile, uh, wherever you log in. So might be I can hear you then. He is muted. He is muting himself. I don't know what's happening. And his uh, headphone or microphone is not working. We uh, brother, we will, yeah, so uh, Ali Bhai, you, uh, but Ali Bhai, not uh, very clearly. Yes, no, right? Ali Bhai, next to uh, move to next part, uh, person, so he will fix his mic meanwhile. Okay, uh, Walid is next, and uh, Nurbai, please host him then. Okay, thank you. Assalamu alaikum, Walid Sahab. Assalamu alaikum, Nurbai, Ali Bhai, and so thank you so much for unmuting me. I felt that I lost the chance to speak today. <laughs> but, no, no. Thanks to Who, giving whoever me. Whoever in the show, they will speak at least for two minutes, but they will speak. Don't worry. I'm waiting from last one hour complete is now. And I'm waiting for my time. So thank you so much. Uh, my name is Walid Reza and I'm from Kojra, Pakistan. Uh, basically, I'm a programmer, web developer. So today, I uh, just uh, turn on the Facebook and uh, a fair notification to that you are your class is live. So uh, I have to join it. Uh, when I join the Zoom, you are talking about the foreign countries like Middle East and their workers uh, who is uh, going from Pakistan. So my family, almost 80% family is also in UAE. My mom, my nani also, and my brothers. So one of my small brother is, had issue in visa. Uh, before one year, uh, he was working uh, as a train operator in UAE, and he spent four years in UAE. That uh, in, in this uh, period, he does not break any rule and uh, any little fine. So, <clears throat> but we don't know why when he arrived first time in Pakistan. Uh, his, he uh, changed his, his visa, but uh, UAE uh, never approves his visa, uh, visa again. So we uh, submitted again six and seven times uh, his visa to UAE, but uh, they are not uh, approving that. Uh, no any issue, no fine, no any penalty, but the reason, they're also not uh, talking, uh, showing us the reason to reject visa again and again. And again. So this is my little message for Pakistanis that uh, going to foreign countries and working there is not too easy. So make opportunities in your own country so that we can. Uh, in Pakistan, there are a lot of business ideas. We have just need to work on it. So what you talk about here? Uh, we talk about uh, living abroad is better uh, living than Pakistan or living Pakistan better rather than living abroad. In Pakistan, I think we have uh, many troubles to start uh, our uh, business uh, because of the lack of uh, supports and uh, facilities. So if you go abroad, uh, that uh, all the work you uh, no, you do not have to arrange anything like electricity, like shop, like uh, any other stuff. There is also, uh, there is a already uh, things fixed. You have just go and work there. So my opinion is that if we start our uh, business and work in Pakistan, we have a lot of troubles to start there. Um, I appreciate your thoughts, but uh, your experience might be you have better experience than me, but as far as I concern, I live here and I felt more difficulties than Pakistan. I cannot buy a home here. I cannot buy a triple seat car here. I cannot buy my own property here. I cannot uh, play a cricket here. Even they stopped uh, us from uh, last year, us where we are play, play cricket in the cricket ground. Um, I cannot do anything in what I want uh, other than work. You know, I can only do the specific thing for what I'm here. So we can do many things since Pakistan, whatever we need, we can do that. So uh, there's thousands of people doing business in Pakistan and every have, everyone have facilities. Uh, at one point, I'm not agree uh, that you say we are uh, like have trouble in Pakistan. We don't have trouble, but we just, we have fear in our heart. We feeling that 
we are going to die yes. in Pakistan. We are not pro, we are not making opportunities for our own self. Uh, I'm sorry for that, but the Pakistan is still running. There are billions of people living in Pakistan, you know, so nobody has ha, nobody in the trouble. Every person is working better than uh, uh, abroad countries. Uh, yes, I agree with you that uh, you we cannot buy the home and cars and many more things in foreign country. And I, I, I already discussed it uh, before that uh, my 80% wrong family in UAE, but they do not have uh, still authority to buy their home, their own homes and uh, many more things, land, and etc. So trouble does not, I said that Pakistan is trouble. Uh, but uh, I said when I start, when uh, my brothers and other uh, friends are starting business in Pakistan, they had little troubles. They did not have the proper support to start their works and uh, many more things to fix it that. Uh, uh, <clears throat> but uh, so, uh, if you are running the, your uh, electronics uh, things or uh, you need electricity, the, the, that kind of little bit troubles, not a huge troubles. So that is, if we, uh, I uh, also agree with you uh, that uh, we have fear in our hearts. If we kill our fear that uh, we have, we can successful in Pakistan as well. Thank you very much, brother. And uh, I really appreciate your experience and uh, thanks for joining. We are really run off, uh, out of time, so we have to move to the next participant. Thanks for joining. So Over last you, thing I used to, just to tell me that mm -hmm. uh, you know, your show timing and days. Sir, uh, our show time is 9 p.m. Pakistan time from uh, Monday to Friday. Saturday is off and Sunday is for the kids show. So you can join uh, twice a week. Thank you. Thank you very much. Most welcome. Over to you, Alibai. Thank you, Alibai, for sharing your thoughts. And thank you, Norbai, for hosting him. And let's try Zishan Sai once more. If Hello. it doesn't work, then OK. We can hear oh. you now. Fantastic. Amreen, will you please host him? Yes. Okay. Assalamu alaikum, Zishan. Wa alaikum salam. How are you? I'm fine. And what about you? I'm good. Thank you. You join us. Uh, first time you join? No, I second time. Okay, this is my second. Okay. You introduce yourself. Well, I am Zishan Aziz. As a profession, I am a student of commerce. And uh, this, just, this is what I am. It's okay. And you listen to our conversation. So what is what you have to share with us? Well, I think you, today your topic is about uh, uh, abroad. I did, I, am I right? Yes, going to abroad and settle there. Yes, uh, I'm, I'm you not in a, No, I'm disagree with uh, this topic that if we are in abroad, we don't have any opportunity and we don't have to write to do anything willingly in abroad. If we compare our country here, we do everything what we want. And here is we are here. We have a lot of space in our country. What we want to do in any type of thing. If, but if we go to abroad, we don't have any space to do anything. There are people are unknown. Uh, rules, regulation, uh, this type of thing destroy our peace of mind and also our uh, sometimes skills. So if uh, if I come compare to abroad or uh, homeland, I would like to do any kind of thing like business, uh, charity, and uh, like any kind of thing in my country for my own country. I serve to my own people. This is thing would I would like to. I really appreciate your words, but uh, you are a student. So you want to go yes. to abroad for your further studies? You want to go there? <laughs> yes, I want to because uh, every uh, good things attract you. But uh, if we, you ask me that you live there and you want to work there, and I say no, this is not good for me. This type of thing, if I go there and I come here, I will lot of uh, what we serve to my people, my family, my colleagues. Uh, 
I have more experience and I want to share this kind of experience, how they can live there. This is the thing I would want to share with my people. And we are very backward uh, nation, so we need educated person here. We need yes. educated person, not uh, uh, they are going abroad and they settle there. But who are the, the nation <coughs> in good manners? If we are going, we what? are all educated. If all, go, if all educated person go abroad, to who serve this nation in good manners? Yes, yes, you are right. But uh, if we see in our country, there are many educated people. They are doing uh, what we can say very negative things. Educated most of time in our country, uh, every negative thing be, things behind. They are educated people. So there are two faces of every coin. So uh, be positive always. Uh, Raza, our yeah. Zita, there, are, there are so many people. We are. It is the human nature. We are good. We are not doing always good. We are human. Sometimes we are good, doing good. We are doing bad. So it is a human nature. Always stay positive and think on positive things. Uh, look positive things and people do wrong. But it is not your. Uh, your. No, it is not your problem. Because you go in your grief, and they go and in their grief. So, yes, but you know, uh, there is a there is a saying that majority is authority. How can we beat them if the majority of people do <laughs> like this kind of thing? So, what we can do? If I am, we 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 can make our strength uh, more uh, heavier than we uh, beat them. Well, let's think positive. Yes. So Zishan, it is ten six, and we need to move forward to other person. Here is okay. one guy left. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you. You can carry on with, with them. Thank you. Very join, much. A, join again, and early. You 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 find more time to talk, but right now and it is. Your mic. And fix your mic before you come in. Okay. <laughs> You you could have more time. You could have more time if your mic was working. You tried your choice. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Zishan. You, thank you. Thank you. I, thank I like you. you. You should come more often. Your your point of views are interesting. I like you. Thank you. Okay, Aga Mohammed Sahib, you have been waiting for so long. I'm so sorry, my friend. How are you? I'm fine. What about you? I'm good. Where are you from? I am from uh, Karachi. I live in Karachi. Which part? I Karachi, Baldia town. I live Baldia. in Baldia town. Yeah. Okay. So and, today, mm -hmm. should should I speak my topic? Yes, you can. First, um, let's uh, get to know you a little bit more. So, what do you do? Uh, basically, I am a student of English language and. Uh, I want to tell you about. Uh, I want to tell you about uh, English. A lot of people they say that we cannot speak English very well because uh, we don't have vocabulary. We don't have uh, means uh, power to speak. We don't have confidence. So according to me, English is uh, not uh, verbs is not matter. Matter is what matter is interest. If you are interested in English language, so you can speak very well. You can speak very well, and you can become a good speaker of English language. So, according to you, what do you want to say about those people? Uh, they have, they have, they are facing difficulties. They are facing a lot of difficulties. They want to become a good speaker, but uh, they uh, never ever become a good speaker because of uh, because of interest. Every every time they thought that we don't have we don't have vocabulary, we don't have any other things. I think they are just shy. They lack confidence, and this is the reason why Carla does this show. They, she gives them a chance to come and speak to an American. She is a native English speaker, so this show gives them a chance to test their English with them. What happens in Pakistan is that when we are making a mistake, I all the time make mistakes when I'm talking in English. But yeah, people, mistakes in Pakistan, are they. Yeah, please go ahead. 
mistakes are done by people uh, because we have made we have we, uh, we have made for making mistakes not uh, just angel cannot make mistakes we are made for making mistakes so a lot of people they have low, they have a lack confidence they have low, they have uh, they have lack confidence and they they don't have a means uh, uh, they don't have every time they thought that vocabulary 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 is matter but vocabulary is must we learn in the means in the advanced level not here hmm. so they are facing a lot of difficulties and by means of uh, these bad thoughts these bad thoughts they they cannot learn english they cannot go ahead i think people should try vocabulary comes with time so if you if you prepare for gre test or toefl or ielts you have to memorize two, 200 300 hardcore words that you never use in your daily life those kind of vocabulary does not make sense it does not make to make sense to master because even if you have those really hard words memorized how are you going to use it is the main main question so you develop your vocabulary when you speak with other english speakers like you do in this show and as noorbhai was saying before there is a group also um, he is usually live on that group and other people also come and join so i think when you practice more and more you get to improve your grammar you get to improve your fluency and then you develop your vocabulary as well yeah practice makes a man perfect but uh... Uh, you have made this app for uh, learning english for speaking english i think yes yes but if we speak just 2 minutes 5 minutes every day so we cannot means uh, speak very well if we speak uh, one hour for uh, means uh, half hour then we can speak very well yeah that's true and exactly for that there is a group which i just told you about nobody can you please copy paste the link in chat so aga aga mama sahab you'll see the link in chat uh, in 2 minutes or so and you can click that link and join that group you'll have more opportunity like you can talk for half an hour or even an hour with anybody you just have to write there is there anybody available uh, to speak english and somebody will join you most often people will join you then you can practice your english for hours as long as you want but here okay, since I we since american lady comes in uh, she takes her day off on thursday this is why you cannot see her here but her time is very very important so she takes out one hour of her day to come here and everybody wants to speak with her so so the five or six minutes that we can give is the maximum we can give that is the that is our limitation she cannot come live for for 24 hours she has other things to do as well that is a problem Okay, so I want to know a uh, one person who is the uh, Rehan Alawala. Who is he? Can you tell me about him? So there, there is something called Google dot com, <laughs> right? Rehan <laughs> Alawala, and you'll find everything about him. <laughs> so he is the guy who who started this show with Carla. So uh, he is a social worker, a motivator. He does a lot of things. So I think it, it will take half an hour to explain who he is. So I think the best way. is to go to his profile and see what he does okay okay thank you aga sahab thank you very much anything thank, else you want thank to thank you no no nice to meet you thank you very much and thank you for joining me fantastic so noor bhai added the link so if you want to join that group please click and join that group okay okay thank you very thank much rafi the... thank you so before i click um go off live i just want to share my two cents on the topic uh so that there are people in pakistan who think that there was one guy in this conversation as well who said that everything is easy in uh, abroad you go there and everything is done for you it's not the case um however i want to say that there are certain things that you can do better when you go abroad for example if you are very good at doing business you may have a chance to expand your business much more um, in a foreign country like usa than in pakistan but if you just do a normal job like a job for as an accountant or something like this 
chances are that you are better off being here than going to UAE, for example. So you have to carefully weigh. I there is one guy. I think his name is Azim. He he is working as a driver in Saudi Arabia. He works seven days a week, and every day he works for twelve hours or so, and he's working as a driver. And he told us his salary. I'm not going to repeat that. He can earn much more than that as a driver in Pakistan, near to his family, and he will have his weekends weekend also off. So that is the huge miscalculation that he is doing. And I, in my life at least, I have not seen a single story from Middle East where people have spent their whole life and they are happy when they come back. People spend their whole lives, they work day and night, and when they come back, they have little bit of savings and they have lost half of their lives with their families so this is what i what i have learned but there are also people who have built their empires in uae for example my whole own family member i don't uh no guy lives in saudi arabia not in uae so he may, might not know there is a chain of restaurants in uae called karachi darbar karachi darbar is owned by my uh, own family member he started with one dig you know i do not know what is english name of dig he started with one dig of biryani and now he has you know, 21 restaurants two hotels and you can you name it these kind of incidences are also there but not everybody everybody should really think carefully before thinking about going abroad and going on asylum is a huge huge mistake if you want to fake something and go on asylum nobody is going to take you seriously there i have seen many many they deport uh, you they deport you even if they accept you as a asylum seeker the treatment is horrible you you are thinking that you will go there and people will hug you and they give you job and they they give you car and a house to live in it doesn't work like this people are living horrible lives when they go abroad without thinking too much about their lives so um as for anything else the this is the era of social media you can make friends if you want to go to saudi arabia for example you can uh, make noor bhai your friend ask him how the life is there i have been to germany i have been to france and czech republic you can ask me about these three countries i can tell you how life is there you can ask me about some options there are um i mean you can find pakistanis living everywhere in the world make friends with them ask them how the life is what is the life on the ground do not assume if, if a consultant is, is consulted in say you uh, telling you that you can if you give me 2 lakh rupees your life will change for good do not believe him do your own research talk to people so this is all i want to add to this topic thank you everyone who joined in sorry moisa i could not uh, bring you in please come back tomorrow there were all other guys as well who we could not bring in thank you everyone who who was watching and we are going to wave goodbye bye 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 see you tomorrow allah hafiz